Hello guys, Craig from Fix It Fellows and I'm inside the house and I'm trying to do the hoovering and I'm trying to do it with this, our Dyson, what is this, uh, multi-floor ball animal blah blah blah, okay, however, this carpet, which you know, medium pile, this hoover cannot cope, right, it sucks itself to the floor and this thing cannot be pushed, the moment the, uh, the motor starts straining, uh, it switches it off. There's like inbuilt circuitry in there that shuts the motor off should the motors be under too much strain. So it literally just sucks itself to the floor too much. There's no adjustment on these heads um, and it's causing me a massive headache. Okay, here we are with the Hoover. Okay, it's not on at the moment, so obviously like, I can push it no trouble at all. The moment I turn it on, again, it just up the floor. That makes for a very, very difficult hoover. So, what to do? Um, if you take off this, okay, no trouble, right? Because the suction isn't being great. So, then I've cleaned this out completely to make sure the air flows through this all right, which it does. Um, the other thing is on the sole plate here, on the head, okay. Okay, here's the head, okay, um, that rotates all right. Now what's happening is, is the air is sucked through this hole, and the base plate seals to the carpet and then as the suction goes in it just gets pushed down and sucks on and there's no there's no air coming in there okay so the suction is too great okay so there's not much you can do on the sole plate because there's a lot of flat areas there that want to bond to the carpet but what we do have is we have these rubber bellows all the way around okay so I'm thinking if I perforate these rubber bellows a bit, it will create air holes to go in so it won't create such a hard suction to the floor. So I'm going to give that a go. I mean, I'm at my wit's end, you know. Uh, the wife is already saying, get rid of the hoover, buy a new one. So I'm going to give this a try. Worst case scenario is we get rid of it and get a different hoover. But hopefully this will fix right, here it. Here we are. Um, there's loads of ways you could perforate that. I'm going to heat up the end of this little screwdriver with this blowtorch and I'm going to push a hole through one here and then one there and see how we get on um, and then if needs be I'll put more holes in. Okay, so there's two small holes. Let's give that a try. Okay, here goes. That is instantly better. The heat is still rotating and shut off. That was instantly better. Um, I might put two more holes in. I think that will just give us the right amount of air intake. So I'm going to give that okay, a go. Some original holes were here and here. So on the back where the air in, uh, where the suction intake is, I'm going to put one at the front here and here.
Right, okay, I found that the, really the holes I was putting in with this little screwdriver uh, maybe weren't sufficiently big, so what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna take this little modeling knife and I'm gonna slice out a bit here. There. Go for it, so easy. There we go, so. There we go, there's the bit I've cut out. There you go, you can see the hole I've cut in the side there. Already put one in that side. Let's go and see how that works. Well, here you go. Um, that seems to have been a success. I think it depends on how deep your carpet pile is, etc., as to how much of those bellows you need to cut away. Um, start small, try it, you know, don't go cutting it all the way, all at once. Um, but it's definitely made this usable again. Um, what can I say, if you're at the point at which you're at your wits end and you're thinking, oh, I've got to get rid of this Hoover because it's a nightmare, I, I, I might as well buy a new one. Well, you know, what have you got to lose? Give it a try, it might work for you. If not, worst case scenario, you're gonna have to buy a new Hoover. But I think it'll work for you. Anyway, thanks very much. Please be sure to check out some of my other videos. Give us a thumbs up, and if you haven't already, please subscribe. See you soon. Bye-bye.